to be continued. Like, to be continued how? always look this way? I don't remember seeing that flying whale in the bottom right. What did the... You know what? I'll look at the beginning of the stream or something and, and find out. Because <laughs> I don't remember the splash screen. Um... Remem... Remembrance. It changes? Thank you. <laughs> White Mage Rufia told me. Okay, so here's what happened so far. Our heroes survive a blistering battle to topple the Lord of Shadows at long, long last, free from Mordekin's malign influence. The world tree begins to return to life and its healing powers pour out over Erdria. Light and love bring the land alive once more. Their quest complete. There's nothing left for the companions to do now but return home. Blah, blah, blah. We already read that. Is Look, the brown? Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. Does the cream does, it, does blah, 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 does the ground have metal? It clanked when she set that cup down. <gasps> <gasps> and Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. It still hasn't sunk in, you know? We really did it. We really saved the world. Yes. Mordigan plunged Erdria into darkness. So many lost their lives. But we survived. We have to make the most of that. We have to laugh and smile for those who can't. We may feel like crying. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. Pull yourselves together. You've saved the world, you idiots. What are you blubbering for? <laughs> Excuse my awful impression. <laughs> 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 ah, here you all are. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. It's party time. Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. All right. <laughs> you are good health. You are good health. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Looks like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica. <laughs> Awarded for defeating the Lord of Shadows and restoring the World Tree to its rightful place in the sky. Okay. Um, what was I doing? I kind of thought there would be more side quests that would open up. I, I must protest, ladies, please! I am merely a soldier of Heliodor. I uh, hardly think that I deserve such praise. 
Akio, these ladies will not leave me alone. Do something and rid me of them, I beg you. <laughs> oh my, I would love... I would so love to speak with those handsome gentlemen, but I kind of hope to compete with these ladies' assertive advances. <laughs> By the skies, you are a pleasure to behold, good sir. I know that the Luminary's companions would be heroes to a man, but you are more heroic than I imagined possible. Why, if I were 20 years younger, I would cling to you like a creeper. <laughs> My, what a fine figure of a man you are. So tall and strong and handsome, I would wager that you alone were more than a match for the Lord of Shadows. Now that you have saved all of Erdria from the darkness, mayhap you can save me from swooning. Oh, no, here I go. Swoon! <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask. When we finished off Mordigan, you swiped his sword, right? The Sword of Shadows? It may look kind of creepy, but underneath all that razor-sharp teeth and bulging eyeballs, it's still the Sword of Light. Have you tried using it yet? What? Oh, this is a great sword. I don't... I don't use great swords. Where is everyone? Oh wait, up here. Fabulous, isn't it, darling? I never thought I'd see the day the Arboreans would be tripping the light fantastic with yours truly. The Lord of Shadows stole everybody's freedom, but now they're free again. Free to downstream and most of all to smile, hooray! I have never danced before, so I have a little idea of what, how one is supposed to do it. Something like this, perhaps? Hmm, ha! Ah, oh, there you two are. Ever since I lost you to that... Blah, 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 blah. Ever since I lost you that night all those years ago, I've been driven by one purpose, and one purpose only, to destroy the darkness that took you from me. And at last, it's done. I'll have to think of another reason to get up in the morning now. Actually, I did want to help get Heliodor back on its feet. Oh, and I wanted to try all the different caves in Gondolia, too. Alright, maybe there are one or two things to, <laughs> things to live for. Oh, would you look at all these smiling faces? It's really true, eh? We really did save the world. I can't even remember the last time I felt so chirpy. We've been running from the Lord of Shadows for so long, I've forgotten what peace and quiet felt like. Still a few things left to do before things can go back to how they once were. My dream of a life of leisure and laziness isn't it far off now. <laughs> and I'm guessing Serena might be over here. Yeah, as I thought. When a new leaf appears on the world tree's branches, a new life begins. Each of us has our own leaf on those mighty bows, and each of us returns there when we die. Veronica may no longer be with us, but her spirit lives on, and one day we will meet again. One day we will return to our place on those branches. But not just yet, I have a life to live, and I must live it to the fullest, for my sake and for hers. <clears throat> Okay. Where to next? Is there like a quest? What? What are we? What are we up to next? Pieces are turned. Um, enjoy the festivities, then leave Arboria and see the world you saved. Okay. So, how shall we do this? Should we just zoom? Let's zoom to... Let's go to Sniffleheim. What? Okay, I guess it wants us to walk. 
Wait, it, it tapped! I didn't... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? <laughs> of course we can. Now the world is at peace, the fun can really begin. The post-game. If you're game. looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss. Oh, Octagonia? Can I can I zoom now? <laughs> there we go. Woo. A little while ago, a young girl sailed off in a little boat, muttering under her breath all the while. Huh. Well, I figured we'd stop by and see uh, Mia. Is she still here? Okay. Well, well. I saw a girl by the church with a face as sour as a pickled herring. The young lady that the Reverend Father has been caring for woke from her slumber at long last with one good thing after another lately. Yeah, but. She woke from her lengthy slumber some days ago, but I'm afraid that she left us soon after and have not seen her since. I fear that she is no fit state to be traveling. She's still weak and needs rest. Wherever she is, I pray that she is unharmed. What the no? Oh my god, we leave you for like literally just... We leave you for like barely, barely any time, and like you're already gone? Where did she sail? Where did she sail to? Yes, let me into the Viking hideout. I don't know why she would come back here, but maybe she came back here. Oh! We can see you, Mia. Come on out. No, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. The Lord of Shadows is gone, and the world's at peace. So what are you sulking about? I'm not sulking. It's just... The priest told me what happened. I don't remember any of it. But he said I turned into a monster and terrorized the town. He said I even tried to hurt you. <sighs> you and your friends must hate me for what I did. I'm plenty used to being hated, but still. <gasps> hey, what's this? Somebody's dropped a gold coin on the floor. <gasps> Where is it? It's mine! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the Mia I know. Sitting in the corner feeling sorry for yourself doesn't suit you, kiddo. Oh, you tricked me! Now I feel stupid for worrying you didn't like me any- 
Why don't you stop worrying about stuff that doesn't matter and start worrying about yourself? You need to get better. I can't exactly take you on a treasure hunt if you're going to be fainting every five minutes. <gasps> a treasure hunt? Sure. Soon as you've got your strength back, we'll go on a trip round the world on the lookout for loot. Just you and me. What do you say? <sighs> oh, uh, well, uh, if it's something you really want to do, I suppose I don't mind keeping you company. <laughs> Treasure hunting with Eric, huh? If I'd known that was on the cards, I never would have run away. Tell him to come and get me as soon as you're done with doing whatever it is you have to do. And tell him not to keep me waiting too long. And tell him I get first dibs on whatever treasures we find too. <laughs> you are a trip. I see a treasure chest. I see a treasure chest! I saw it! Oh, I saw it. It's right here. Gimme. Mine. Had a mini metal. Alright. Speaking of mini metals. Speaking of mini metals. L'Academy! Let's turn in my mini metal. You don't know this game, but it kind of reminds you of Dragon Ball Z. Well, <laughs> the, uh, the character design or artist behind it basically is, uh, same guy who, um, does Dragon Ball Z, so that, that makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of mini metals I'm missing. All right. <laughs> yes, the same hairstyle as Android 17. He does. I want to go see my mom. Oh, look at the happy little town. Thank you. Go now. Hmm? I trust you've been staying out of trouble, Father. Well now, Jade! All of you! How good to see you! <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I've been busy letting my hair down while you've been here rebuilding the village. You have earned your rest. For now, you must enjoy some free time with your companions and leave the hard work to us. But when Cobblestone has been rebuilt, work will begin at last on restoring the capital to its former glory. Oh, I'll be there. Don't you worry. We'll rebuild Heliodor together. Gosh, can I ask you something? If I begged you not to go, would you stay here with me? Don't look at me like that. I'm joking, aren't I? I know you've got things to do, but just remember I'm wait here waiting for you. No matter where you go or how long you're away, I'll always be here. I really want to see my mom! <laughs> what 
to see my mom. Mother! Is she back here? Mother! Where is she? Not here. Where's my mother? Not there. Not in there. Not in Excuse me. Not in there. Not in there. Probably not in the chapel. Not there. Where? Where? <laughs> Looks like Dr. Jero. Okay, where are they hiding my mother? Maybe she's over up in the shambles of where our old home used to be? <gasps> mother! Off on your travels again, are you? Honestly, you can't even spare five minutes for your old mom after beating the Lord of Shadows. But I can't say I'm surprised. You're just like your grandfather. He couldn't sit still when there were things to be done either. I know there's nothing I could say to make you change your mind, so I just wish you the best. But don't you forget that me and Gemma are here waiting for you to come home. Now off you go. I know you'll make me proud, whatever you do. You'll always be my little soldier. Alright. Let's go let's go to Octagonia. Cause I'm sure I'm sure by now. If there was someone in the comment section, like, watching this on YouTube, they'd be like, Just go to Octagonia right now! And I'm like, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Let's see, I'm here. Okay, first things first. Let me see if there's new things in the casino. <laughs> Nothing's changed here. Looks like even the NPCs are still. Oh, wait! He's not here anymore. Huh. Okay. So. Let's see. It was somewhere outside of Octagonia? Probably? Okay, I don't see any, like... Oh, wait, 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 there's a marker! There's a marker. by Spark's Rest? Right? Yeah. I don't remember this place. What is this place? Well now, this place looks a mite familiar. Like where? Aye, 
It's these funny wee buildings. I've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting. Oh yeah, I can show you combat. Sorry. Oh, they won't let me. <laughs> Sorry, they won't let me. They're forcing me to go here. Well, as soon as I can show you combat, I will. <laughs> I was just having a wee nose around when I saw a dusty old tome that caught my attention. Remember what we saw back in the Temple of Dawn? When you channeled the power of those seedlings and we saw those seeds from Erdwin's life, it looks to me like this book is one of those same events. But what would something like that be doing lying around an old ruin like this? Is this meant to be art? It looks like some old weird guy with a funny face to me. Isn't it just amazing, honey? The way it defines artistic convention to... Defies artistic convention to make such a bold statement. All the stuff around here is so unique. Whoever made it, all was a genius. Such an eye for shape and form. Her Highness is correct. This looks like the place where we met the Watcher. I've never heard of ruins like this and these in this area. Yeah, I do not recall this being here. Where's Serena? Oh, there she is. This painting, it's fascinating. It really draws you in, doesn't it? Oh, hey, it's that cog. And look, it's little squiggly creatures. It reminds me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time, beings born from the land, beings who control time. Okay. Spirits of lost time? Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored... how, exactly? You mean, like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe... or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Is this a good idea? Hmm. Veronica. Oh, it took you that long to figure out who we're talking about? Do you really think we could bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of Lost Time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to tower, key to time. Key brings spirits, sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the wheel of time, we might... We might really be able to... Hmm. <gasps> what have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? right no matter how unlikely it is if it might be our chance to see her again we simply have to try mm. but
But the watchers are all gone, right? So how do we find this wheel thingy? Didn't that watcher say that like they would all come back? This was once one of the islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. <gasps> There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? Okay. I doubt they're gonna let me leave. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have to keep pushing forward. What is this? Wait a minute. I always get distracted by the shiniest thing around me, but I, I have to make sure I... <laughs> I have to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, hey, it's the Wheel of Time by Robert you Jordan. Found the Wheel of Time, honey, you are just too good at this. <laughs> it was so hard. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. <sighs> Oh, look, it's more of you little tendril things. <coughs> hmm? What's the matter, darling? You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? Uh, we could follow the little I tendril. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there? Don't you think we should take a look at the old tower north of Idrisil that Eric told us about? We could use the Kalmus flute to call Cetacea and fly right to it. Right. Are we sure we're not supposed to just stick that thing right there? Alright. Hold on, I think we can do some combat. Um, I think it will let us do a combat net right now. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Some different things. Uh, Battles. Goodness. I'll probably be doing more battles soon.
Oh, I guess I need to go somewhere else. Right here? Whoa! No, 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 no. Yes. I wanted to land here. No problem. I haven't been here before. Making sure there's no, like, treasure chest laying around. Nothing. Alright. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh no. You are all very creepy. Oh no, they're all walking. Oh god, what is this? Like, I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps all over my arms. I do not like these things. I hate them. I hate them. They creep me out. There's a treasure chest back here. Good godly gear. Oh, oh my god, I'm like getting so many goosebumps. I don't like these things. No! No! Go away. Is there any treasure chests over here? tightly shut. It doesn't appear to have a keyhole, but there's a curiously shaped indentation in its center. Try inserting the wheel of time into the indentation. Looks like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits of lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. If my character could talk. What is that? What are you? What are you? I don't like you. I do not like you. Why are you following me in here? No, I hate you. I hate you. I do not like these things. They're so creepy. What am I doing here? <sighs> what am I doing? I'm, I'm messing with people's lives. That's what I'm doing. yellow. Why is this one, or red? This one's red. It is really good. Where? Oh no, we'll just keep following these ones. Treasure chest! No! Come back! Oh wait, this one led me to a treasure chest. Ricky in the uh, YouTube chat said 
make sure you open all the chests in here before reaching the top. I clicked. What What did that treasure chest get me? I didn't. wasn't even looking at it. No. I got something. Oh, yeah. I grabbed the chest behind the tower. Ricky, please. <laughs> I would not leave a chest. You think, I, I will I will tear this place top to bottom to get every chest. There will not be any chests left behind. Where? Okay. Let's see. I came from this one. This is the one I came from. So I can go up over here. Oh, it was an agate of evolution? Thank you. That's what I get for not looking at what chests I'm opening. I'll make sure to be pay attention. There's a chest down here. Gotcha. Alright, what do you have? A hero's base book of basic weapons. Nebula swords, darting daggers, asterangs, shining stabs, straight pokers, gringham whips. Oh, dragon lord claws, maxi axes. Oh, some super weapons. All right, I came from that one. Okay. I didn't miss any. Oh no! What are you? I don't like you! I hate you! What are you? No! That is creepy! I hate things that look like that. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh no, I don't... I don't want to talk to it. I don't want to look at it. You were freaky, sir! I don't like you. But what are you? I am just what I say. Oh. I am. And that is all I am. They can actually see it. I, I hope you don't mind us intruding, but we heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can. Well, that can bring people back we've lost someone very special you see and well we were hoping you might be able to help us you speak of time's fear It's power that which you seek might be attained. This, it seems like such a bad idea. But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. It's talking really slow. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments. To return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, 
time itself must be destroyed. That sounds like a terrible idea. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. What? We have to beat the whole game over again? We'd need to go back to... I. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. Oh, man. Uh -huh. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. Yeah, but we couldn't do it. <laughs> it is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. This seems like such a bad idea. So, what? We have to go back to the time right before we climbed this tree, the the Idrisil, and, and did everything there. We'd have to go back to that point. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Mm. Aye. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. What? What do you mean? Like... So nobody else goes back? I, like, I, I'm guessing that the main character is the one that's going to go back. Mr. I can't talk to the party. The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere. And only with the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. So... What? Does, does the main character go down the timeline, basically? Like, he jumps... I'm guessing that he's he's gone from this timeline. And then basically his memories get moved over to the... The timeline I'm jumping on to. So this this world that I'm in right now is going to exist without me? Oh, that's sad. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever. Trapped in a corner of time. A half-faded memory. That's awful! Your present, your companions, your life even, all these may be lost. 
lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? If this was me, if I was a part of this team, I would have a very calm discussion with Serena and let her know that sometimes people die, sometimes bad things happen, sometimes you just lose things. And considering how the world is right now, on the chance of recovery, on the chance of everything getting better, maybe, maybe we don't, we don't mess with time. <laughs> maybe we don't do this. <laughs> Lasher in the, in, uh, in YouTube chat says, let's be real, Veronica isn't worth it. <sighs> Veronica wouldn't even ask for this. I'm still doing it. Only you can decide. I'm still doing it, aren't and I? I will await you before the sphere. All right, all right, hold on. I, I want I want one spoiler. I want one spoiler right now to anybody who knows what happens that's in here. When I, when I go to this next timeline, am I keeping all of my money? Am I keeping all of this equipment? Am I keeping like all of this stuff? And like, like is, is all of this coming with me? That's, that's the only thing I want. That's the only spoiler I want to know, is like, is everyone's equipment coming? Like, do I get all this stuff <laughs> where I'm going? Or am I going to be like, completely stripped away with nothing? Okay, I keep it all except the party's levels. Yeah, I kind of figured that the party levels were going to be lost. Um... Do, do I need to do I need to unequip them or they're not gonna have any of the all this equipment is gonna be in my inventory I'm gonna have to re-equip all of them aren't I I'm keeping all the gear except the sword of light oh that's right because I'm gonna be smashing it oh nuts all right well Don't bother with the unequip. <sighs> I'm sorry, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Oh, and they, they make me talk to my, my, my boyfriend. Hold on. Darling, don't you feel you've done enough? I mean, you defeated the Lord of Shadows, didn't you? I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't think I could bear it. I cannot permit you to do this. Curse it all. Why can I not go? Why can I not put a stop to Mordigan? Must I really remain here idle while you risk all for the sake of our fallen companion? I'll let you go once, and I promise I'd never do it again. Please don't do this. I... I don't want to do... I don't want to lose you. Fate seems to have a habit of snatching away those I care about the most, but not this time. Save a tired old man, more heartache than he can bear, will ye? If I lose you too, I... I don't know what I'll do. I'm sorry, Akio, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. I cut my hair and Veronica gave me her powers. I vowed that I would use them to carry on our sacred mission and protect you. If I were to let anything happen to you, she would never forgive me. So I have no choice but to stop you from doing this. Have you thought this through, Akio? You heard the timekeeper. You go back there, that's it. No way home. 
There's no guarantee you'll even make it to where you want to go. Are you sure you want to do this? <sighs> okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Isn't this gonna... like, Hendrick won't... Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. I'm going to jump to right when, like... Like, what? Am I gonna jump right before the tree? Hendrick won't be on my side anymore. How am I gonna convince them? <sighs> or maybe Hendrick will have already been on the, the chase to hunt down Jasper. But will he believe me when I tell him that the king is... Oh, God. Okay, fine. Whatever. Stop asking questions. Wait. Just do it. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much. But some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far, your knowledge of battle and all that you have learned. And last of all, The containers that surround the altar, these are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Alas, there is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I do. The else is unknowable. When you are ready, join me by the spear. <clears throat> I mean, let's do it. What else am I gonna do? I, like, is there anything left in this world to do? Step forward, Luminary, and into the past. <laughs> Wait! When you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this, I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to believe me when I tell you that. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Oh, damn, Moreno! That's a good idea! I should have him, like... <laughs> I should have, like, some sort of way to, like, record what he said and then, like, show it to him. With, like... Oh man, I should get like multiple signatures from like the king, everyone. <laughs> Damn it. 
Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do us proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. Why wouldn't I? Such a stupid idea. The time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. Goodbye. Not by a long shot. Where is it going to dump me out at? See you on the other side. Where am I being dumped out at? For you. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Okay. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. We of Arboria swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, shipmates, amigos, spark thrust, and the rainbow await. Destiny beckons! I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. You must defeat him. Okay. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. This is climbing Idrisil. We're stopping right here? Ordered for embarking on a mission into the mists of lost time in order to see the world saved once more, but properly this time.
Mary. What brings you all the way out here? Your companions are all gathered in the cathedral. I'm sure Father Benedictus will be concerned to see that you are not with them. Return to him. Okay. Am I gonna see myself here? Like, what's about to happen? Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor. The time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, sage of legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the luminary! <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. Uh. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm. <laughs> Are we not gonna... okay? Luminary, pray tell, did something happen to you in the short time you were away? You seem much more serious than you did before. I suspect you have come to realize the gravity of the task ahead of you. The trail beyond these doors leads to the first forest. The altar you seek is at the very highest point of that hollowed wood. Good luck, my child. Um... Oh dear lord. Whoa! <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> what are you guys wearing? Are you wearing literally the stuff you wore at the... All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna do with you? Um. Son of a gun. Thank you. 
I can't do I can't dual wield the styles like I, I normally did. Pretty sure the Yeah, the butterfly thing's the better one. I don't know. We'll just equip that. <laughs> Party talk with Sylvanda while I have the Sword of Darkness equipped? <sighs> hey, I'm trying to pray, and the last thing I need is you staring at me gormlessly. What's the matter with you anyway? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Pull yourself together, will you? Huh? What's with that new sword, darling? Did you go shopping without telling me? Mm. I mean, I don't mean to criticize your taste, but there's no way I would have let you find anything that hideous. <sighs> really? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I know I can be absent-minded, but I don't think I've ever wandered off while someone was talking to me. What that, that strange smile on your face? Is something the matter? Oh, whatever it is, it's nice to see you. I know you were only gone for a few moments, but it feels like I haven't seen you in the longest time. How's it going? All right, well. <laughs> Look at the level despair. <laughs> the level difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna walk up there and one shot the bad guy. I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Why am I doing this? I wonder if all the treasure chests, yeah, all the treasure chests are back to being unclaimed. Oh, I found a mini metal. Oh shoot, I wonder if like in the old save I didn't find all the mini metals in the past. Alright. Yeah. I don't really need to rest, I just wanted to like have the... have the save point. <laughs> Well, I kept a I kept a save of like when everything was blah. So if I did miss anything, I can always reload that save. It's fine. One of the last side quests before you fight the final boss lets you farm infinite mini medals. Oh, okay. So I've lost nothing then. And I don't care if these treasure chests have garbage in them. I'm still going to go back and open them. No one can stop me. Chests. Yeah, 
that's the treasure chest. Give me... There's something really good about opening treasure chests that I love. Put loot anywhere and I just I just want to loot things. Whee! Like how that monster just kind of stared at me for a split second. He was like, look at this guy. No fear. Walks up to me. Me and Mia have nothing in common. We are totally different. <gasps> oh my gosh, Ricky, you just got Dragon Quest V? Dragon Quest V is my... Well... I would say Dragon Quest V was like my most favorite of all the Dragon Quests and I feel like this game like reminds me quite a bit of V in certain ways. Dragon Quest V is really good. I love it. I recommend it. <laughs> and I have it on my phone too because I love playing it so much I, I, actually, I actually play it on my phone. What are you gonna do? Growl at me? That's right. Can't do anything. Yeah, the first time skip? Wow, what a gut punch. When I first played that, I was like, I've never had a game like... I think that's what this game does really well too, is that I... I, I know in RPGs you try and step into the shoes of the main character. <clears throat> But, like, I would say that Five did an amazing job of letting you experience truly how the character feels. And I think a lot of it has to do with, like, how the game, like, it doesn't just tell you things. It kind of, like, lets you experience them. So, like, for example, the way that, like, you start out just, like, unable to do a lot of things, but you have another character that's practically hand-holding you, but it's it's hand-holding you in a, in a way that's, like, kind of, like, gentle, and you kind of need it, and so you kind of develop a sort of, like, that character's so amazing and strong, and, and like, there's this, there's this emotion that's invoked with that sort of, like, being raised up by, like, the, uh, the surroundings, and then, like, it's just so good. I don't know if I would say every Dragon Quest is as good as 5 or this one, 
I would say that, like, 5 is definitely the one that I would recommend most people, like, giving a try. This one's definitely more friendly for, like, the modern audience. Dragon Quest VIII is pretty good. It's okay. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a solid, like, wood play out of 10. <laughs> Nine is kind of weird. I think nine is fun for me, but it, it it's not the one that I would recommend people jumping into first. Nine is just kind of like, um, I think what I liked the most about nine was I played with other people when I played nine. Like we connected, um, over the local area network and played together. So that one was kind of fun. <laughs> I'm a freaking nerd. Yes, I am. I saw a sparkle over here. Where was the sparkle? I saw it. I saw it. I'm turning the screen all the way. Whatever. It's not that important. I don't need it that desperately. Oh. 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 oh, it even lets you know that it even it even had a prompt to tell me to skip. You jumped into 9 first, never beat it along with 8. 9 is... It's strange, right? Because, like, I don't know how I would just... Because cause 9 doesn't have a very... Like, it's got a story, but it's... <sighs> how do I put it? Like, there's a big difference between how 9 tells its story and how, like, this game or 5 tells its story. Where... It, it's... It's got a story, but it's kind of like, yeah, you're mostly playing it for the gameplay, not for the, the compelling story. Whereas, like, this one, or five, I would say, has a very strong story presence. Okay, this is another skip. It's letting me know that I want to skip these, which I appreciate. That's the thing that sends us back. All right, I've I've got my freaking sword ready. I should I should honestly just stand right here with my arms crossed. Just like just stand here with my arms crossed, staring right here. Wouldn't that trip him up? This is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. <gasps> ah! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. Now, laddie, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. How about I just turn around and stand here and wait menacingly? Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm. What are we doing? Oh. 
Yeah, why am I not remembering this sooner? you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish <laughs> behavior hardly befits one of your stations. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> My powers... repelled... but... how? Wait... That sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. How about some showy new armor? <laughs> Come, <clears throat> Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. What if I quadra slash him? <laughs> Oh, do I have tactics on? Oh. <laughs> it would be too damn funny if you if you one shot him. I mean, I don't know how much health he's got. Did I just 
you all right? <laughs> Just for us to be in. Nice. Oh, goody. <laughs> no, I don't need to disperse points. I don't even know what points they're in right now. Yeah! No, this cannot be. I cannot be defeated. I cannot disappoint my master. Oh. We lost that sword. And what do we have here? Huh? Huh? Yeah. What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. <clears throat> That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? <clears throat> Master, help me. <gasps> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> How is this gonna play out? I don't have a weapon anymore. I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come, let me look at you. No. No. No! No! No, 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 no! Jade, come back uh, here! <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. You... Alright. I, I want a curse right here, but this snake right here... But we have the luminary on our side. 
Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time. I ain't grabbing that sword. No, no, are you stupid? Don't you dare. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh God, why would you do this? No one would do this! Forced to do the most stupid thing ever. I have no choice. What, what else am I supposed to do? I have to grab the freaking sword, and then he's gonna take it from me. No. Oh, it is beautiful. No. Magnificent. May I take a closer look? No. 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 Don't you. Don't you dare. Ah! What, what was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert. You are the defenders of Yggdrasil, the unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. Time, I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor. 